There are two sets of photos above this case. The four photos on the left are World War I, also known as the Great War. And the four on the right are the Tennessee maneuvers that took place during World War II. We'll start with the maneuvers. The bottom right is a practice jump for military parachutists called paratroopers. The Germans had been successful using paratroopers for years, so the United States decided they too could benefit from such soldiers. The top left is a photo of soldiers on the ground on Taylorsville Road in rural Wilson County following a practice jump. Becoming a paratrooper was not for the faint of heart. If a soldier hesitated at the door of the aircraft, he was automatically disqualified from the training. And look closely, you can tell these are from the 101st Airborne Division by the patch on their shoulder. Members of the Army's 758th Tank Battalion are seen in the top right photo. They were the first unit to consist of African American soldiers. Following the Tennessee maneuvers, future baseball great Jackie Robinson served in this battalion. Finally, the bottom left shows a pontoon bridge across the Cumberland River connecting the communities of Rome and Dixon Springs in Smith County. Because the Rhine River in Germany is more than 700 miles long, U.S. military leaders wanted to make sure soldiers would be prepared to cross it when necessary. Now to the Great War. The top right photo is Colonel Harry Berry conducting what's called a pass in review of troops from the 30th Division. A pass in review is a military tradition that began as a way for a newly assigned commander to inspect his troops. Berry grew up in Sumner County and the Nashville Airport is named in his honor. Below that is a photo showing the 30th Infantry Division in France. The soldiers are waiting for their next assignment. Notice the guns in a formation that looks like a teepee. This is called stacking arms. This kept some of the rifles in one place while soldiers rested, and it also kept them from getting dirty. An officer is showing his soldiers how to operate a captured German machine gun in the bottom left photo. The Army felt it just didn't make sense to destroy such a good weapon and all of its ammunition. Finally, the top left is two U.S. soldiers advancing with a canvas bag full of hand grenades slung over their shoulder. Grenade parties like this one would storm the enemy trenches and throw the grenades in their dugouts.